Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a camera app named as Reolink for PC. Basically in this video, we are going to discuss with you what is Reolink for PC, what are its feature and function, then we'll tell you that how you download and install this app on your PC and how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature. So keep watching till end. Please like, share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one. So let us start. What is Reolink for PC? Reolink for PC is an app which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on your screen. It is also used to monitor the camera over the internet. The main purpose of this app that by using this app you are able to access live view of the camera. Not only the live view of the camera, you can access all its features like you can see the multiple channels at a time, you watch the recording of the cameras, you take the snapshot of the video, you control the PTZ camera, you save the live view of the camera, you can adjust the image parameter like brightness, color, etc. You take a back of the recorded videos and many more. Okay. So to download and install Reeling Home for Reeling for PC on Windows OS, we have to take off help of an Android emulator called BlueStack. This app is not given for Windows OS. First, we download the BlueStack on Windows OS, and with the help of it, we download and install. Dueling for PC on your Windows OS or on your PC. So let us start. And I will make a separate video how to install BlueStack on the PC. You watch that video. You after watching the video, you are able to know that how to install BlueStack on your PC. Once after successful installation of BlueStack, you find the BlueStack 10 or BlueStack 5 icon on the screen. Just double click on the screen on the icon, and this will open the interface of the BlueStack. And you should click on the here app player. Now click on the system apps and click on the play store. When you click on the app player, basically it will create an Android environment so that you can run any Android app. Just click on the play store. And search for Rio link. When you find the real and digital technology co company limited, you find that it's app, just click on the stall. When you click on the stall, it is totally automatic process. You don't need to click anywhere, just like Android app. It first start downloading, then it start installing. That's the process to be finished when then we'll tell you the remaining parts.
now it is start installing let the process to be finish Just click open after successful installations one more I would like to discuss now after successful installation you find the option on the desktop also like here ruling just double click this icon and your cap app automatically open on the Android player Android player basically just create an environment for the app to run any Android app on this blue stack. Now this is the interface of the app okay here you find the option like cloud iot camera it have many iot devices when you click on iot it also ask for to add that add the iot device here you find the cloud option and here you find from the camera option here you find a lot of option like setting album if you take a, a, a screenshot or you record the video it will store here and the support center is also so this is all about this okay you can log in also like here you can log in and here you find the sign sign up option so you can do it by your own because i don't want to waste time here i make this video for education and training purpose it is better to sign up and log in okay after this just click on the camera and just click on the ad when you click on the ad it start the qr code and the qr code is the sticker stick on your camera itself or even in the box also when you scan the QR code and click next it asks for a username and password so you can create the username and password of the camera and after that ask you to enter the router username and password and after that the camera comes online if you don't, don't you don't have a QR code you you are not able to see the QR code you, sh you should click on the manual input here it asks, it asks for three things you IP link and you ID so UID and link is used whenever you want to access the camera from somewhere else means you can install the camera in home and want to access in office then you should use UID otherwise you should add the local IP address also to local view of the camera means from the home you can access when you are whenever you are in Wi-Fi range here you should enter the UID and click next again it asks for a username and password just enter the username and password and again go to the next and it asks for a router setting means router user and username and password enter the router username and password and camera comes online okay and if you want to connect your camera with the wi-fi with the wired network very simple just close this and just click on the LAN when you click on the LAN it will automatically detect the camera and again ask for a username and password put in the new username and password and your camera comes online okay so what and you should keep in mind that you should keep the camera in range where your Wi-Fi is available. So thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day.